How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it is 11, 11.30 on a Saturday this night. <laughs> Once we're done this, we're going to bed. <laughs> this is what we're doing. I am making um, homemade laundry soap. Sorry it's loud. The furnace, we had to kick the furnace on because it's so cold outside. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're making homemade laundry soap. And um, I'm actually going to make two different kinds, which is why I have two jars here. I'm going to make one for cloth diapers and one that I'm going to use for our regular clothes and our towels and our bedding and all that kind of stuff. So oh, Soiled things. Yeah, <laughs> things that need a little extra power. Um, and then one that's safe for um, cloth diapers and for... Um, delicate clothes and Mason's baby clothes. So what we're going to use is um, a box, a four pound box of, uh, I, sh I guess I should say this is a year supply. It's supposed to be a year, although I don't know if it'll last a year in this house. Because we wash a lot of clothes here. This is a four pound box of baking soda. We're going to use a what is this? A three pound, seven ounce box of... Super washing soda. <laughs> washing soda. <clears throat> a uh, four pound, 12 ounce box of borax. Then we are going to use two bars. And I, I know this comes in white too. The pink um, has a little bit of fragrance in it. We're going to use two bars of zoked soap. 14 point... Um, one ounce. Yep, these are big bars. You can use the, what is it, Fells Naphtha? Fells Naphtha. Fells Naphtha. Um, you would need three bars if you do it that way. At least that's from what I've heard. Yeah. When, when we did the amounts, though, we thought we might need up to five bars, but that's. Yeah, seems, we needed, but we were going to need five or six. That seems they, like an, they come in, no, they come in very small ounce bars. Now this stuff isn't very expensive. This is a dollar a bar. Actually, I think it's 97 cents at Walmart. Um, and then these were only a couple bucks those, a piece. Yeah, those I are going to make the regular. Down below in the, in, the, in the information bar, I will leave all the prices on what we paid for yeah. everything. And then in the one um, that I'm going to make for regular laundry, I'm going to add some biz to it for stain removal. And I've got a few little um, beads from, uh, what are downy these, downy? Yeah, yeah, downy. This is the rain one. Downy the, things. Yeah, so I'm going to add the rest of those um, to it as well. So the first thing we have to do is we have to grate soap. <laughs> so I'm going to open up my bar. Now, I know you can microwave this, but... I've heard from um, a girlfriend of mine said it's super messy if you do it that way. And from everything that I've seen, look how pretty it is. From every um, everything that I've read, mmm, smell it. it. Smells very clean. Mm. From everything that I've read, if you just grate it real fine, it's not going to. It's going to dissolve just it fine. It actually smells a good bit like. It smells a little bit like a Dove bar. Yeah, it does. A little bit. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and grate it. This might take a while, though. Okay. Yeah. And... We'll show the grating. Yeah. That's a big-ass block of soap. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. <laughs> it's going to take a minute or so. So, we'll come back. <laughs> let's, see, let's see some of that grated soap, just so they can see. So oh, look at how pretty. Just like cheese shavings. Just like cheese. And, and uh, I heard, um, from everything that I've read, the soap bars dissolve better, especially in cold water, than the, um, than the Fells Naphtha. What, what a weird name to name something. It's definitely not probably easy Probably a to combination remember. of two different people's names that came up with it. Who knows? We'll have to research Phil's nap, but <laughs> someone will comment and tell so us. So there's the shavings. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so you want to come back when we're all shaved Yeah, when up? we're all shaved up. All right, sure. we'll be back. Okay. Husband is greeting the last bit of it because I'm a weakling. <laughs> I can't. 
<laughs> I can't do anymore. But here's our bowl. Zoom out. It's almost a whole bowl. Now this is a pretty large bowl. That's a big mixing bowl. So it's... That's two whole bowls. I don't know if it... We might have to get a couple more jars. <laughs> We're down to the last bit here. It smells to me like lemon verbena. It's, Very it's, much it actually, so. Yeah, it, has, it has a bit of a lemongrass smell. It's, yeah, it. it's like a lemony, it's a, well, or lime verbena, that's it. Lime verbena, those lime verbena candles from like Yankee. To me, that's what it smells like. But And of course, the furnace has been off this whole time, and as soon as we start vlogging, it kicks back on. Yeah. We're in the kitchen by the laundry room. The furnace is right in between, so it's super loud in here when it kicks on. Down to the last little nub. And then what we're going to do is we'll start mixing all of this in. I've got this, um, we bought this bucket. Um, I no longer use what I call the stink bag, which is a Planet Wise bag for um, the soiled diapers, yeah, it just it just was not working out for us. So um, I just use the bucket and then um, when I do diaper laundry and I empty this out, I just scrub this with hot soapy water and Lysol it and let it dry and it's fine. I don't even, we're not even bothering with the wet bags, wet dry bags or any of that anymore. It's just a waste. I'm grating my fingers. Oh no! It is now 11.42, so we've been grating. It took, what, a half hour to grate both bars. A half hour. So be prepared. This is the chore of it. Uh, everybody says that this is the biggest chore, the hardest part, yeah. is grating the... Um, well, she grated most of the first one. I grated a huge chunk of the second one <laughs> yeah. for both of our Teamwork. So it's, like it's best to have teamwork when you're doing this. I can't, I can't say, I can't use the joke that I did with you earlier about what it feels like, but it's, all, it's, it's naughty. mostly women. It's so naughty. No guys, they won't get it. <laughs> women won't get it. Can I have one of those right? Yep. Something cleaner. Okay. Um, so, I guess we could sit here and try to pick all this out, but... Ah. <laughs> Just go to the same way. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, now I guess we're just going to now... I've been told the easiest way to do this is to layer it bit by bit by bit, and then stir. Layer a little bit, and then stir. And then that's, Underneath. like, the best way. So... I'm going to hand this over to you. Okay. And we're going to start with the borax. And I can never open these boxes. Oh, God, I think it might. No. <laughs> oh, don't, don't cross the door. Yeah. Make me nervous. Why? Well, Do you think I'm going to... You'd like... I'm not you're using good. the wrong hand. No, you're just you were using the wrong <laughs> hand to, to stab and the wrong hand to hold. It's just you cross armed it. Alright, that box is open. Orox. Orax. Orax is open. Orax. Orax is open. It's the equivalent of a 20 mule team. See it's on the box. Okay, washing soda is open. Where is this video going? On YouTube or on Facebook? Um, both. Okay. All my friends want and family want to know how to do it okay. on Facebook, so. Uh, you want me to do that? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think this is a zipper. Oh, Woohoo! Yeah. Yay! Oh, oh way it. to go. Luckily, the garbage caught it. My Piece gosh. This is the one too that was leaking all over the place. Remember when you picked yeah. it up? And you picked well, up one. Well, I think somebody, like I think leaky. somebody ripped the zipper in the store. Okay, so we're gonna. You know it's bad when somebody rips the zipper to steal a cup full of biz. <laughs> yeah. 
you know times you know, is hard. You know times is tough when you're trying to steal just a scoop of beers. I just need a scoop of beers. For those okay. of you that know. Uh, Which is the easiest way to do this, honey? Uh, it's move the trash can and the slide side. the chair. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit at a time. Now we're doing the whole box, so I'm making a lot. Fun. Super fun time, everybody. The mixing part's fun. Do a little bit. Can you see it in here? Yep. What do you think? Not good? Okay. Okay, can you see? Mm-hmm. Right there. Now we did try microwaving this out. Some people microwave it and it's supposed to crumble. It basically it. looks like spider webby cotton candy <laughs> type. But that's why we material. bought this out because it's supposed to dissolve really, really easy well in and water. even in cold water. So yeah. most people say you can grate it and leave it as it is. So So we're grating it and leaving it as it is. We did a little like because we like like she said, we did a test. Of a, we did a test and of a little bit and watch that poor Ooh, girl. Yeah, you don't want all this in your lungs. Right. Does it seem like it's breaking up a bit, even when it's clumping a little bit? Mm. I'm sure it's fine. There's more than enough zote. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of zote in there. So, even if it uh, seems like it clumps a little, some of that this, is probably... Some, that's, this I is that's the, the stuff the, that we that's microwave. That's the microwave stuff. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's that yeah. moist. There was a little bit of moist. It was, it was like really spiderwebby, papery, yeah, almost so cotton candy-like, but then it left moist stuff in the bottom. Yeah, so, so we just didn't even yeah. bother. Just like your friend Sarah said, it, it just made, made a, a mess. hell of a mess. So. Yes, I have two very good girlfriends, Sarah and Stacy and both of them have made homemade um, detergent soap Andre soap, yeah this is the microwave stuff, look at that and I've been meaning to do this and then I just forget about it and my girlfriend Sarah just made her newest batch so um I was inspired to finally do it. Alright. So I'm gonna with more borax than anything. And then we do more of the pink stuff. Babe, you know we did uh I mean, was it, do, should we, should we still be, uh, no, I guess I'm, I guess I was just curious about the mixture, because we, like we talked about, we took back some of the stuff um, to make it diaper friendly. That so. is stuff that, um, but no matter, but no matter what, we should still use the double bar of Zolt. Yes. Use that double bar of Zolt yes. with all the other mixtures. I'm going to share the original formula where okay. my girlfriend's. Sarah got from, okay. and I think it's the same one that Stacy uses, and she does not use like the, um, um, I don't think she added the Clorox 2 or anything like that. Okay. It's still called for two bars. I know some people only use one bar, um, 
there's, you know, it's like, I, you want me to like I watched, a little bit there? I swear, I watched like 30 different videos and everybody's recipe is just a little bit different. Right. But they all use two bars no matter and what. And a lot of people do the, um, liquid. Oh, what is yeah. this? Who's this? I don't know. What is what? Something funky. Oh, it's like a piece of cardboard oh, from the box. Cardboard. <laughs> See? Well, I got good eyes. Okay. Yeah, you do. All right. Next. Last layer here. Yeah. <laughs> Just stand back from your mixture. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm about to pass out. No, I'm just kidding. You know, we could probably double that with the zote. It would still be in good shape. Not I guess I should be doing it this way. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see all the weapon in the bowl? <laughs> no. yeah, you should do it the other way. I'm so short. <laughs> There's a lot up in the top. They said to, um, too, it's easier to use the soap if you let the bar dry out. Right. We did not do that because yeah, we didn't had that. I known or had I read that earlier, I would have set the bars out last night to dry, but I right. um, kind of found that out a little too late. And there's no way I can wait another two days to do laundry. Right. These boys are on me for their clothes. And, yeah, I mean, you, you can... Uh, so that's like, what I would do. Like if I knew I was going to make this, I would set the, I would unwrap the bars and let them and sit them out. out. I'd even maybe even yeah. chop them in half. If you want to try microwaving and you have a better system when it comes to microwaving them, by all means. Yeah, try comment it. below too. Yeah, because we, I mean, you know, it does get little paper waf wafery thin, but it seems like you got to do small amounts just to get it to dry out properly. And then we had just having two bo two full bars. You saw how big that bowl was. It just, that would take forever to microwave the stuff. Okay, this is it, huh? And, uh, so keep in mind we're adding biz for other stuff, so we're not putting the biz yeah, in. Yeah, we're not putting the biz. We're going to take, uh, take half of this out and put it in a bowl okay. in my first jar. And this is going to be the diaper, cloth diaper safe stuff. And then, and then I'm going to add the biz, half a box of biz, and the rest of those little smelly pellets. Okay. Um... I'm gonna just rinse off my hands. All right. You want me to? I don't know what's the easiest way to. Um, um, I guess using a cup, a glass, maybe. a glass will be easiest, huh? In a mason jar. Now. You want me to do that? No. Sorry. You want me to stir a little bit? Uh, I think it's it's. It looks good to me. It looks good as it's gonna. Just asking. Offering the help. Where's that? These jars are pretty wide. It takes yeah. a lot more than a, you know. <laughs> now you only need you only only need to use Let's one let me shake this down once you get that one tablespoon now we're looking at the bucket here and looks like we're does that look like it's about, about half, half, yeah. about half. Right. I'm going to be using more of this anyway for like the um for uh, cloth diapers. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Boom. Go. 
put your lid there. Screw it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh. And that's it. At least this is the uh, cloth diaper safe. Yeah. Okay. Good looking there. stuff. And now for this one, what I want to do is I want to add the rest of these beads here. The smelly beads. These are the smelly beads. And dump that in. And then, you had all the beads? No, half. I would have used a whole with the, all of the ingredients since half okay. of it's gone. I'm only going to use half. Looks good to me, babe, if you think so. I'm recording. Let's we'll see well. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Bid adds, uh, and the pellets add an extra scent. Now you can, now it smells extra really. fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start sneezing in there in a minute. <laughs> Now this is what I'm going to use on everyone's uh, regular clothes. The darks, uh, towels, bedding. Those of us with a metal next year. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that need a little freshness. <laughs> hey, well, no All right, I need freshness. Okay, I do need freshness. Right. I don't want to lie to nobody. Can't lie to nobody. <laughs> These are mostly women, so they know they're men. <laughs> Their men need freshness. Mm. It looks very pretty with the one of those teal colored. Mm -hmm. Little. Yeah, that's the April Fresh. I think it's called oh. April Fresh, Rain Fresh. Rain I think it's. Fresh. Oh, I, think, I thought it was Rain April. Or something. It smells very good. It mm. smells like clean. Oh, did the apply, did the label come off or something? Oh, I took it off. I actually saved that because I might need that if we don't oh, have you enough. Save this? Yeah, we don't have enough room in this, these jars. Well, that's true. Looks like you might have just enough, but you might have to fill up that little little Jimmy Jam jar there. Okay. Think we can do it? Looking good, baby. Estimated. Uh, Try to keep it clean. Got to try to keep the vlog clean. <laughs> so, so I was going to say, you estimated that shit good, baby. But, um, All right, so we have a little bit left on the bottom of that. So, yep. so we can use this. What was left of the rain? Here. I'll be able to. We'll get it all, but not like that. No, I need to use the cut, the glass. I think. Oh my gosh. You rock. You rock, baby. Oh, no, don't fall back in. Oh, no. Well, I already what got it. What are you a, doing, man? I already got to get the rest out. You dumped it hard. I know. That's all right. Oh. Man, you know what? All right, we're back. We ran out of room. <laughs> we use this thing a lot. So... <laughs> We have a tendency to run out of space on it, so we have to go through and delete a bunch of stuff that was that was already Heather already got off. Okay, so okay. I bought this at um, Walmart too. This is a coffee scoop, and you get it right in the same area that you get this the measuring spoon. Is a two tablespoon. Two tablespoons. So, so it's perfect. For me, for somebody like me, I never, ever, ever do half loads. Like, it's very rare I have a half load. I look around the house to see what else needs to be washed so I can just do a full, a full load of laundry. So basically, when you go to do laundry, this little thing, if you pick this up, all you need is one scoop, and that's it for a load of laundry. Um, 
from what I've read, crazy. yeah, because this has no fillers. You know, it's not like regular detergent. Let me get the other scoop here. Ooh, this is my traditional. On the video. <laughs> this is my traditional laundry scoop, and I use Arm and Hammer um, laundry detergent with OxyClean for our regular laundry. Should make a commercial. That's an awful <laughs> big scoop. They tell you to fill it to this line. If I fill it to that line, our clothes does not get washed. They do not get clean. I have to fill it all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna. Look at the difference from when I, even with Tide, I use twice as much as that just for cloth diapers. Wow, Heather, that's not a lot of soap. No, it's not. That's shocking, isn't it? It is shocking. But that's because it doesn't have any fillers in it. This doesn't, it, it doesn't have everything that detergent has in it, so you don't need as much. Well, we don't want fillers, do we, folks? <laughs> no. So... I mean, if you think about it, I mean, I spend, what, $13 on a box of Arm & Hammer. Yep. Um, Tide is $20. It's actually like 15 something for Arm & Yeah. T uh, Tide is $20. Oh, wait, it is cheaper. The Ecos is 11 something. Yeah. And we buy those every month. We, we spend that money every month. Plus... Um, all the other stuff, the biz that goes into it, or you know, or the OxyClean we right. buy, the bleach we buy, and now I've just, it's we've just eliminated all of that. And this total, I mean, we took stuff back, but even with the jars, I mean, I'll have to, we'll have to redo the the numbers. But originally it was twenty seven. It was like twenty eight bucks. Twenty seven, twenty eight. Twenty seven seventy. But then we took back like sixteen dollars. We took sixteen stuff. bucks back. Because I wanted to make it. So safe. basically, we had it was eleven dollars. Then we replaced that with the jars. Yeah, with the five jars. fifty for the jar. So you can't. And really... the coffee scoop was a like, two bucks. Yeah. So really, I mean. Thirty five, thirty no twenty, thirty bucks. I mean. Well, just, uh, 20, twenty-eight minus uh, the sixteen we took back. Right, but then we replaced it. Yeah, with but you can't really count this because it's no. So I mean, really, it was yeah. I mean, it's it's basically twelve bucks for what is supposed to last a year. I right. think, I don't think it'll last me a year because I do so much laundry. Yeah. But I mean, what a difference in the amounts <laughs> yep. that I'm going to use. So this is going to last quite a while. But I'm going to report back to you guys as time goes on and let you know how I like this. Like I said, this one with the, um, and we even have extra on this side. Yep. That's the stuff that didn't fit. Yep. So, paper safe. This is for darks and everything else. This it has the uh, biz in it and the, um, the uh, smelling pellets. A lot of people think that's fabric softener. Folks, it is not fabric softener. Nope. All, uh, all Purex uh, crystals or the Downy, um, what is it called? It's just smell good. I forgot the name of it. Downy uh, Unstoppables. Unstoppables. It's, all those are is just fragrance beads. Those are not it's fabric softener. Beads. So Heather was using the <laughs> crap out of those Downies before, and they're making our towels and sheets not smell towels, like just the sheets. fresh. Sheets and blankets, yeah. I mean, they, they smelled the good, don't get me wrong. They smelled really good. Yeah. She threw a bunch in, and, and they smell fresh. But, yeah, they're only fragrance. They're not yeah. actually softener. So, this is it. This costs, at most, 15 bucks. Well, and what's interesting is your softener is right here. There's your softener right there. Yeah, that that that. I mean, this is like a matter. Yeah, it's a matter of. Both it's, of them I mean, do, it tells. Actually. Yeah, it tells Both you. Do. Tells you right on the box that it softens water, especially the washing powder. It actually, whoops, sorry. It actually tells you on the side that it uh, actually softens water. I think the borax does something like that too, doesn't it? Oh, that's right. It was the borax. The borax. Right there. Here, I was reading the twenty two meet uh, twenty mule team. Helps your detergent to work work more effectively by conditioning the water and removing hard water minerals. So it's yeah, it's you can use it in the dishwasher, all kinds of things. It's basically the ingredients are sodium tetraborate, a natural mineral mineral. So 
Good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to try it out tomorrow. Yep. And um, maybe I'll make a follow-up uh, video on how our clothes smell and how they feel, Ooh, how no. they look. Safe for delicate clothes. Yep. All right. All right, so that's the end of that vlog. Yep. All right, guys, we'll let you know how it goes. Yep. I wish now I had put more in, a little bit more in this. That's Since okay, I though. had so much left over in that. Again, I washed cloth diapers today. Okay. All right. Nighty night. Sleep tight. <laughs> it's midnight here. We're going to bed. <laughs> Bye.